well. Today we got Trevor, day before an event, taking forever to get ready. Oh, look at it. It's even here. These bastards, dude. Yeah. We got some new tires. He's getting ready to go. You know what time it? Look at it. 5.14. 5.14 p.m. The day before the event. And this one's in New Mexico. So we're going to No Coast. Uh, Southwest Drift Pro-Am Series down there. It's a two-day event. So we're going to be going down there for uh, the event. We're going to try and leave. We're supposed to leave at 6. We could get there at like 11 and like be a decent time. But it is now... I said 511, just leaving an hour. Car is still on the lift. So I don't know how that's gonna go. I'm sure you guys saw like on Snapchat and everything else. Uh to fix the windshield. So we got that all good. Got the hood all fixed because it freaking shattered like it did, ripped out the uh like this whole section right here. So, but still OS. So this event we're gonna run OS. Did you hook up the nitrous or no? It's no nitrous. Yeah. Go on, dude. Fuck yeah. Get it. Jay-Z is still chilling. So no Jay-Z this event. Maybe one day. Maybe. Right. I'm just got Trevor here. Rips in his tires, dude. So what are these? Trevor, you some... Triangle. These are triangles. Well, I don't get the shipping address. No, triangles, dude. They're, uh, this is upside down, but 360 treadwear, A casting, A temperature. So. Got six of them. New. To run with six. So we'll see what, uh, what goes on. Look at all the fucking tires in here. God damn. But yeah, so Trevor called me in to go in with him. So I'm gonna go with him. Yeah, bro, I need some homies, dude. He needs a homie. So that way he doesn't fall asleep on the drive down there, even though it's only five hours. So I'm gonna roll with him down. Help him out with tires and all that shit, so. Um, we'll probably try and catch some footage on the road. Like I said, not too big of a trip, but we're gonna try and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure we get lots of footy for you guys. So, Look at big dirty dude, did you ever show you guys big dirty? New, his new bumper, dude. His new bumper on big dirty. Right here. All right, see you guys down there. So we got tires. About loaded. I need to uh, get the fan going right now. Get it all set out. Ty's filling up this little, little water sprayer. Um, just kind of running around like chicken with my head cut off, you know, trying to figure out what I need. So I'm probably the most pissed off I've been in, in months. I uh, just got, you know, as you just got this hood just fixed, you know, the other night because it smashed the windshield the other day at the practice event. And got this in windshield installed yesterday. And l latched the hood. The hood's kind of a bitch to latch, but I, I got it, you know, got it down, latched it. It was down. I pulled up on it. It seemed fine. I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know if the, the latch in here, just, you know, how sometimes if you pull it back, it'll, it'll stay. I don't know if that happened. Something. I don't know. But, you know, just went for a quick little rip and just completely smashed the shit out of my windshield again. So the, you know, 7, 7 p.m., you know, supposed to be, you know, Albuquerque is a five hour drive from here. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna go try and get uh, some Lexan from uh, Home Depot or something and just make, make a windshield. So, I don't know. That's stupid. All right, well, we're back at the shop. It is now 8.27. We are supposed to leave like two hours ago. Yeah. But what happened, Trevor? Well, this son of a bitch flew up. I already told him. Yeah, look. So since they put this in, in yesterday, it's actually cutting pretty nice. We went to Lowe's, and I got me a little 
Look, yeah, look at that. There it is. It's already, already out pretty much. Yeah, it's not too bad. So yeah, like I mean, it sucks that it was just put in, but the good thing is, it was just put in. Yeah, it's just put in, so it's yeah. So I think out. I'm gonna have to cut that bottom out, pull these off. But... What's your plan then? Well, we bought a, a piece of uh, plexiglass, not plexiglass, well, piece of shit, acrylic, plastic, clear bullshit from Lowe's. And uh, it's real thin, but it was the only size that would work. So I'm gonna basically just cut it out, get it to fit right, and then maybe put like a little support in there and I'll have like a plexiglass <clears throat> piece of crap on there. So we're hoping to get it done not too long, get on the road, because like I said, we gotta drive to Albuquerque. Well, thankfully, it's only about yeah, it's only five, five hours. hours so. so, and I was planning on driving through the night as well. But I mean, the hood, at least the hinges didn't break again. So I mean, this hood will, should be all right on, you know, I, I don't know, I'll probably just take this son of a bitch off when I'm there, honestly. Yeah. Right. So we went ahead and used the old windscreen to trace. So we just got like a quick template, as you guys can see here. Just marked it with a Sharpie. Just traced it, same shape and everything. And then we're just gonna Square it with the razor blade and break it off, rivet and silicone it in, and get on the road. Right, Trev? Yeah, I hope. How to weight reduce your car? How to cut your fucking fingers off. Cracked again. Damn it. Yeah, take it easy because I think it gets uh, too much vibration and hot, you know? Fucking. All right, so we got it all cut. While we were cutting it, fucking some bitch cracked on us. So, Trev's giving her a little like Lexan weld here. Oh well, yeah, it's melting it and sealing the crack. All right, Trev's. So we got the Lexan in. Now what's going on? I'm wiping all this uh, shit down and I'm gonna paint this shit so it doesn't look like, doesn't look like poopy. So I got some of this. Uh... What are you painting your way? Krylon. Fusion for plastics. It's too bad. So you can see all that ugly poop down there. And then we'll just, we'll just cover it up. Good fucking. This is almost something straight out of what's my call it's videos, dude. Oh, the haggard garage? <laughs> this is too good for that shit. We actually mask some stuff off. Damn it. What the hell happened here? I told you you made now we dude. Oh fuck, this is plastic. <laughs> what this was a windshield. Taylor Swift or no? <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, well, ship. We're here. It's now 7.03 a.m. Uh, we ended up loading up, getting everything going. Left Colorado like 1.30. We got here about a half hour ago or so. And so we're unloading right now. In the pits.
this new slick course condition. And the driver's showing a lot of commitment out there as they go into that first bank. Jameson riding the high line, looking great. Stucky bringing it in on the inside now. Stucky, oh man. So folks, remember I, I mentioned about the driver needing to do a good qualifying run and the follow driver being able to do whatever he needs to do to catch up. So that's one of those situations where it is acceptable for the follow driver take a lower line on that bank in order to catch up with the screwdriver. Alright, so here we go. Stucky leading this time and Trevor Jameson giving chase. These guys were rocketing down off the back straightaway there. Initiating into the bank. A nice initiation from Stucky, but maybe a little bit too much. Oh, he hands on to it though. Looks like a bit of straightening of the front wheels there, but he's still hanging on to that car. He's really good, though. So, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this is still an active run. So, I mean, he's just having it close off the track. Oh, man. Sorry, not off the track, but I think he's just hanging very, very close to the end there. And it looks like James is catching right up here. So, at the very end of the course, but. Uh, all right, guys, so looking to the judges, it does look as though the judges have decided for them to go one more time. Who's excited about that? Hey, Brandon, uh, what, what made you decide to go for uh, one more time there? Basically, uh, we gave it to me here. Exactly sure why, but then that caused him to understeer off. 
Welcome to Mercenary TV. Dude, that's kind of fucked up. I don't I'm sound like that. I'm just kidding. You don't sound like that. Hi, baby Jesus. Hey, quit. Oh, dude, that thing got dicked. It's right here at the, the No Coast, the second day. You're tired eating a pizza. Oh. And, uh, so anyhow, the, in, uh, well, I made it to the fourth, and in my, you know, yesterday, well, I mean, I've already seen the stupid windshield, but, uh, the pulley, you know, the front crank pulley, you guys could, see it down, I don't know, if, is that even the right one? Yeah, anyhow, you can see how much of that little shiny piece is showing. So the crank pulley wobbles, was wobbling, and it threw the belt, and that's why I straightened out and shit in my, uh, I believe it was a battle, to go into first and second, or, you know, to go into first and second thing, but I lost that one, so I got into the battle to go to, for third. So I got fourth, essentially, in the whole event, which was pretty good, but uh, car did great. But as soon as it popped off that belt, it you know got hot. I lost all my power steering and you know fucking coolant shit. But uh, yeah, I got it. Got it going right after that. We called five minutes and got a tie. Lucky old tie. He ran like three miles and I ended up throwing up and uh, grabbed the belt because it flew off on the track. But uh, yeah, overall car did great. I'm pretty happy with it. So. So yeah, finally, finally back at the shop. Shit, that wasn't too bad of a, a drive from Albuquerque. It was only, only like four and a half hours or so, four and a half, five hours, you know, dicking off and stuff. But uh, shit, truck did good. This thing did really good, um, you know. But uh, you know, despite the the belt flying off and having to to do that stuff, that sucked. I I was doing battle with, uh, like I said, going for I think it was first second. Um, to get into that bracket and uh, the belt flew off of the engine so that that really sucked but I used these uh, triangle tires you know you guys see me mountain and uh, they actually seem pretty good I never really tried to dial a lot of grip out of them you know because the track was kind of odd so I, I wanted to be able to leave it in third and spin the shit out of them and that's pretty much what it did so that worked. Um, but yeah, so now I need to work on getting this uh, windshield replaced again. Or you know, I, I definitely don't want to leave it like this. It leaks a little bit, and I want to be able to you know use use the uh, windshield wipers and stuff on it. But you know, I'm probably gonna keep this thing and maybe throw it in the in the other car over here, the shelf. You know, just because because it actually worked pretty good. Uh, or maybe try to make a some more Lexan pieces for it, but for now I really like to be able to like actually lock this thing, you know, up like a normal car. So yeah, so I think that's that's about it. Um. <laughs> So I guess quick uh, 
I guess recap on uh, Albuquerque. I uh, basically had like 10 different reasons of not, well, not 10 different reasons, but a few different reasons of not to go. Um, you know, the whole windshield thing and, you know, amongst other things, I had some other things I could have been doing. But um, anyhow, I, I, I went anyhow. But uh, so we drove, uh, basically, we're planning on leaving here about 6, 6 p.m. or 9 p.m. or something like that. And uh, basically just driving through the night and then taking a nap at the at the thing. But we, uh, since the whole windshield and everything broke, we, we left at, I think it was like 1.30 by the time we were finally loaded up and on the way down there. So we showed up down there about, I think it was 6.45 or something like that after we stopped for gas. I got everything unloaded, everything teched, teched good. The car ran great pretty much, you know, all through practice and stuff. I... Um, the, the so the the first uh, there's only you know not enough drivers so I ended up getting a buy I qualified fourth there's 12 drivers there so I qualified fourth I uh, my first actual run in the in the top eight was against uh, Nick Stu Stuckey or Stuckey or whatever he has a 50 swapped S 13 hatch and uh, we first round was one more time and then second round he uh, kind of went wide. You know, kind of way off line, and and I ended up passing him on the outside, and uh, so I got the win that time. Uh, the second battle that I had was with uh, Joe Tardif, a really good driver. He's been going, um, he's been going to I think Southwest Drift. I think he went to MDU, Top Drift, and another drift. So he's just been drifting like crazy, and has tons of seat time. But really good driver, real awesome dude, and uh, went up against him. Uh, my follow, I wasn't super close against him but then uh, on my lead run the water or the belt jumped off of the the thing the the front pulley was was wobbling so I ended up uh, going straight off the track my power steering went out you know I, I didn't know it at the time I thought I would you know dick the rack or something but uh, I wasn't watching the coolant temp you know obviously since nothing was spinning circulating the coolant um, coolant temp got up to like 200 and 270 degrees which is ridiculous, but uh, so I was over there. Uh, Ty, he, he ran because the, the belt flew off. We called five minutes. Uh, he was running over there. I was sitting there, you know, spraying the radiator and the oil pan and the block and everything with water. Sitting there, like, spinning the oil or the water pump, trying to get it to circulate a little bit by hand. Um, so we got back. We had, like, a minute to get, like, a minute and a half to get the water or the, the belt on. Got that on and then ended up going up against uh, Jim Guthrie. And uh, he was in, basically, he's in his car, but Justin Pollock is, uh, it's an 800 horsepower, like, you know, 2010 Mustang with, uh, I think it's a 5.0 with a Roush supercharger on it, but makes like 800 horse. And uh, went up against him. Um, lead run wasn't, you know, super great. Follow run, I, you know, I, I couldn't keep up with him, kind of on it. And, uh, you know, I was, I was all frazzled just because we, we barely got the car going right after that. Um, so, but that that was uh, that was definitely fun. He was, I mean, there's pictures of him. It, it, he was literally like stuck to my door on the one of the last corners. Um, I was in second gear. I should have been in third, but second gear just banging limiter. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, I was all frazzled. You know, my my head was somewhere else based on the. The events that just occurred with the belt and you know the temperatures and stuff I mean I thought I, I like blew it up right there but uh, so did the the battle with him and then ended up losing um, so he got third that was the battle for third um, and then um, so yeah that was uh, that was pretty much it I think I don't think I, I went up against anybody else but yeah so I ended up getting fourth overall in the event um, you know, it was a fairly cheap event. I didn't end up spending a lot of money um, getting down there and all that stuff. It was close, so basically the only programs I did this year was the Colorado one and then the one down in Albuquerque. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, now this thing is uh, going to get torn down, torn apart. Um, I had somebody who, uh, who was going to buy it, and then it uh, started knocking. Um, Basically today, when I was when I was showing it to him, um, he came down and, and looked at it. Basically, it, it had been sitting on the lift since I got it home, 
you know, I had to put the pulley and stuff on it, and I was like, oh, I'll leave it up on the lift and, you know, let them look at all the exhaust and the mounts and the tranny and basically how everything was mounted. And, um, you know, so I we went ahead and pulled it off, went for a drive, and kind of first got into it a little bit and heard a little, you know, kind of rattling. So I was just like, shit. So I was like, well, can't sell it to you now. So we're going to figure something else out. I'm going to uh, basically pull it out, look what the hell went wrong with it. I have, you know, the other LS, the original one that I ended up scratching cam bearings in. Um, so that, that might end up going back in there. Um, you know, kind of refresh that thing, get it all fresh up for him if he still wants it. And then probably end up going 2J is the, is the plan. So, but yeah, so Albuquerque.